Welcome back to another uh, tutorial by LHP. Uh, that's just Longhorn Physics. That's the username I use for on YouTube. This time we're going to talk about converting from a smaller unit to a bigger unit in the metric system. So the rules work pretty similar. And we're using the smiley faces again to uh, help you visualize uh, the conversion. So this time, as you're taking notes, if you need to draw the uh, little smiley face with the arrow going to a bigger smiley face with the division symbol. Uh, that's to help you remember that if you're going to go from a smaller unit in the metric system to a bigger one, you divide. So again, let me put our meter stick. Let's just pretend that's a meter stick. And we know there's a uh, 100 centimeters and one meter. And this time we got a new unit we're going to introduce for practices. We got a G and a KG. The G stands for grams. And 1,000 of those are equal to one kilogram. So in the U.S. system, we're used to talking about pounds. But in the metric system, we use uh, kilograms. So here goes. So the rule is smaller to bigger, you divide. So again, how do we remember which one is the uh, bigger unit? When you're looking at a list of the conversions, um, the one that has a one or nothing there is your, your bigger unit. So that must mean that a meter is bigger than a centimeter and a kilogram is bigger than a gram. So again, here's our meter stick. There'd be 100 of those centimeters in here. Uh, so let's convert this one. We're going to go from centimeters to meters, which means we're going from a smaller unit to a bigger unit. So this time we have to, there's a division symbol there. And what do we divide by? We divide by the number of centimeters in one meter. So we're going to divide by 100 there. So you take out your calculator real quick, and you should get something like 2. 0.72 meters. So if you take 272 centimeters, that's equal to about 2.72 meter sticks. All right, second one, we're going from gram to kilogram. So again, do we multiply or we divide? So you come over here and go, oh, a kilogram is bigger than a gram. Why? There's the one there. So we're going to divide by how many grams are in a kilogram. So that's 1,000. So if you do that correctly, you don't even need your calculator here. You just go three decimal places to the left, and you should get 0 0.121 kilograms.